Okay, this PowerPoint is for human development, language development PowerPoint. Um, so we're going to begin. An indicator of mental representation and sets humans apart from other species. So what is language? There are three key features of language. Language has semanticity. What this means is it represents thoughts, objects and events through specific and abstract symbols. Example, the word baby does not look or sound like a real baby. So the main key point to think about right now that it represents objects through specific symbols. Okay, number two, language is productive. There is no limit to the number of types of utterances that humans can create. So what that means to me is you can say anything, you know, there's no possible limit. Say anything, any language, whatever. Okay, so three, language has a quality of displacement. People can communicate about things that are distant from time and space or non, even non-existence. So what does this actually mean? Language as a quality of displacement. So you can basically, what this quite simple term, you can communicate about anything that aren't even, you know, real, basically. They're non-existent. You can communicate through whichever mode you think. Okay, next PowerPoint. Definition of language. Language is an arbitrary system of symbols, words, in brackets, that is rule governed and allows communication about things that are distant in time and space. So to keep this simple, language is a system of symbols that is rule governed that allows communications about things. Okay, now we're going to talk about the developmental, uh, the de sorry, the development of language. So researchers have identified a basic sequence of communication patterns that occur during a child's development. So pre-language, first words, using sentences and grammar. So the most impressive intellectual achievement of the young child and children around the world have the same sequence of early language development. Time and depth varies. Okay, so we're going to now talk about pre-language development. So what does pre-language development mean? Quite self-explanatory. Um, first speech sounds. So cooing. Vowel-like sounds developed around two months. So I guess when the baby's like, coo, coo, like a dove. Remember that. Okay, then babbling. So what is babbling? Babbling is constant vowel combinations which peak between 9 to 12 months. Babbling closely uh, approximates speech with long sentence-like sequences involving rising and falling of innotation. I guess it's like ga ga goo goo ba ba boo boo whatever. Okay, so non now next moving on to the next point. <coughs> it's non-verbal communication which is pointing just pointing gestures, facial expressions. These appear around eight to ten months of age and are used to influence the behaviour of others. So you know I guess facial expressions I need to remember, pointing, gesturing, so non-verbal communication, communicating without saying anything. <coughs> okay, mother ease. Here we go. <laughs> this is a funny one. So mother ease is baby talk. High pitch, simplified and repetitive speech adults use to talk to babies called mother ease. I would say mother ease is like, hello. Hello, baby. How are you? Just, you know, high pitch, simplified, repetitive speech. Okay, now moving on to the next PowerPoint. First words. First words fall into two categories. 
So the first category is referential. Use of words to label objects. So referential, it refers to something. So remember referential, referring to, some, to something. Use of words to label objects. Number two, the second category is expressive. This is uses uh, the use of words within a social function. Example, bye bye, peas. I guess I'm going to say please, but peas. It's, you know, expressive meaning they're expressing themselves in a social function or in an environment. So some children spend more time labeling objects while others use words for social interaction. Next PowerPoint. Okay, now we move on to first words. These occur around age one year. The use of first words represents a shift from playing with sound to planned controlled speech. The language explosion. So what has a few points here? Um, naming explosion. First point, naming explosion. This is sudden increase in infants vocabulary, especially nouns. So as the name again, quite self-explanatory, they start exploding and saying so many different words. So hollow phrase, single word that expresses a complete thought. A, a hollow phrase a single word that expresses a complete thought okay so fast mapping the ability to acquire at least a partial understand of a word only after a single exposure toddlers as young as 18 months evidence of this so what this fast mapping means to acquire at least a partial understanding of a word only after a single exposure. Early errors. The next point is early errors, including, <coughs> excuse me, including exclusion of article over and under extension. So early errors, including exclusion of article over and under extension. Now we move on to overextension. These are the early years, overextension. So overextension, what is overextension? Application of word beyond its meaning. I.e. child is learning about parrots, might overextend this label and use it to refer to any feathered creature that flies with wings. For example, any bird that a certain type of bird. So if there's a parrot, he sees any bird, he'll say parrot, parrot, every time he sees any type of bird. That's called overextension. Next, I guess, is underextension. So underextension, I guess, is the opposite of overextension. So to use too narrow application of a word. Family pet is a parrot and believe that the word applies only to this particular parrot, not one seen on TV or the zoo. So if he has a pet parrot, he knows it's a parrot, but if he sees another pet on the TV or anywhere else, he won't use that word for that. He only has the understanding that my I have a parrot and that's it. Okay, now moving on to sentences and grammar. I'm going to take a pause here and continue the next video.